Hey, y'all, what's up? Dr. Heavenly here. Yes, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Now, um, this is episode 14. We got 15 episodes. And listen, I heard that we have three reunions. Don't, don't quote me on it, but I think we got three reunions. So 18 episodes. So after the next episode, you will see the reunion with all the shit hit the fan. Okay, um, let me start um, from the beginning, shit. You know what I'm saying? It kind of started slow, little baby, but it kind of picked up after a while. Okay, um, it started out with, um, I think Simone was seeing someone that was 14 years old and asking for birth control. And the reason I remember this is because my baby girl, 14, and honestly, I hope... I don't know if I think like other parents, but I really don't think my kids would, my daughter would be, but then I guess other people would think the same thing. So you want to protect yourself, but I just can't fathom my daughter at 14 getting into nothing. That's why I've been so protected. My mama didn't let me do shit. I think the times were different. My mama would put you on birth control and keep your ass home. That's what they would do. And um, that's what I grew up with. That's old school. But baby, I didn't like the little girl on birth control, baby. It just, woo, it just, it made me feel like I need to be thinking about my baby, which I am. But I keep up with the number, child. I know what's going on, okay? All right. Next um um scene was I think I think it was Quad. Um it was Quad um with Cynthia Bailey. Now you know we love Cynthia Bailey. I remember Cynthia from way back when when we first started Bravo and um I told this story before but I don't think on this blog. Cynthia is a class act. I'm gonna tell y'all that because I remember going to Miami, I think it was with Lisa Nicole or whatever, and we had just started Bravo. It was all new to us, people, you know, wanting to take pictures and stuff like that. And we went to this club or this event and we couldn't get in. And you know, did nobody know who the hell we were. And I would say that Cynthia from the very beginning was nothing but nice to us. She was like, listen, this is our my Bravo sisters. They are with me. And they let us in the event and she took us through VIP. I don't even think she probably remember that, but um, she did and I'll be forever grateful. I love all of these online housewives, but I do remember that about Cynthia. She took care of us. Um, she gave Quad some very good advice. Um, you know, uh, divorces can get nasty. They can get nasty, nasty, nasty. At the end of the day, all you really want is your peace of mind. I think that's what it is. Separate, let him get whatever. You know, if y'all can't decide, let him have it, girl. Little peace of mind. You making your money, keep moving forward. So I think that, you know, when you go through stuff, it's always good to have somebody in your corner that has been through it, that has been dating, has been, you know what I'm saying, to give you hope. So I think Cynthia was that for choir, and I'm glad about that. Um, The next thing I remember was um, Alora. You know, I love my baby girl. I don't know if I like that blonde hair, though. That blonde hair was a lot. I don't know if I like black hair, blonde hair. I guess it's blonde for the summers, okay? You know, I'm going to shock somebody and go with some all white hair one day. But anyway... Um, Alora wants to go out with her friends. Y'all saw me cook up a storm, then you saw me cook, you know what I'm saying? I was in there burning some stuff over there for my kids. My son was like, you ain't never cooked this before, but you know what? We trying new things to get my baby boys home. Ain't my boys handsome? Let me just stop for a minute and say, I am so proud of my baby boys. Both of them are in college. Both of them are doing well. Um, both of them are pre-med majors. Um, my oldest boy is a senior. My youngest boy is a freshman at um, Georgia State. I just love, I am so proud of them. And honestly, I really can't take credit. I think I'm a good mom. But Damon is still them boys, everything in them boys. I mean, from the time, I mean, they are so respectful. You know what I mean? Laura, I, and that's my problem. I did her. But they are so respectful. I mean, if they daddy say, hey, man, take care of that, they jumping up to do it. I don't know. I a, a, Boys need their daddy. That's what I'm going to say about that. Boys need their they daddy. If all possible, their daddy got to be there for them. So I was excited about that. Yes, I I tried it. I probably have sheltered my daughter a little bit. But, you know, I've learned. You know, I went to Florida a and m and the kids that didn't get to do nothing, that was sheltered in the house, um, when they got to college, they was buck-ass wild. Most of them got pregnant, went back home. You know, a lot of them I remember. And I don't want that to be for my little girl because I know when you squeeze something too tight, it retaliates. So I want to keep the communication open. I don't want to be, you know, but I ain't going to let her just go either so keep your phone on it was a parent that's going with them um and it's a lot of girls going to the movies i think i don't know if i'm being overtaken but at 14 13 14 should she be allowed to go to the movies with her friends 
I say no, I'd probably get Zachary to follow them, you know, without her knowing. But uh, my baby girl trying to grow up on me. Girl, that's a lot for me. Okay? Okay, we gonna go into contestant Scott one more damn time. And I'm sick. I keep saying I'm sick of it. Uh, Scott can't help it. Um, Yeah, they say he turned the kids. He's saying stuff to make her feel like it's something she don't have to do. She ain't gotta do. I mean, I get that she wants to do it. But priorities always got to be what is. It's something she ain't got to do. She's a Trust me, she's already a physician. She already got the highest level of education. I get that you want more, and I want more. I'm still doing more things. But you got to make it right with your family. You know what I'm saying? And before I ever went, I would have never put anything on my husband. I said it again and again. I would have got things in place. Now, she said he didn't want no nanny. He wanted to take do the stuff himself. That's what she said. But then y'all say y'all didn't want a nanny to save money. But then y'all go out and spend 20, 25000 on a party. It just don't make no freaking sense. I mean, I ain't in nobody's pocket or nothing. But I'm just saying, like, the stuff y'all do don't make sense. I got to have somebody to clean up, set up, stock up. For my husband, don't do too much else, but has somebody there probably 68 years old. You know what I'm saying? To keep the kids so she ain't too, too old, but she too old. You know what I'm saying? But um, I think that they just could have handled that better and planned it out better, better from the very beginning. And hopefully they'll get back, back together. Okay? I, you know what? David has never done a green screen by himself. And I thought that was pretty interesting. And they had Scott sitting there by himself like his wife done this damn left him the hill and all of that. And he just got to go back there by himself and just be in the green screen like she just abandoned him. And maybe he felt that way. I don't know. Y'all say Scott is wrong. I, You know, I feel like to me, I'm going to say it again. I would have never left all that on my husband. I think the kids, the mama... The mama take care of the kids. Yeah, the man take care of the kids too, but the mama, the mama, they need the mama. Anyway, I ain't gonna go into that. Okay, then we talked about Toya. Toya got this big ass house, um, and it's beautiful. Don't get me wrong, her house is absolutely gorgeous. The pro I you know, y'all say I go in on Toya. I just be speaking my truth. And I and I look at Toya and Eugene, and I know I think that Damon and I may be like six years old. I think Toya is about 43 and 49. And I think Eugene may be a year younger than she is, a year or two or whatever. But we all know that in the ER, it's a 10-hour burnout period. After 10 years of working in the ER, it's, it's known, it ain't just me saying it, that people get burned out and they want to do something else. For somebody to do 16 shifts and be the medical director, that's too much. And if y'all got to do that... <laughs> You're setting yourself up for... That's why we got Damon at ER, because it was too stressful. I mean, after 10 years, Damon did the at ER about 10 years. And then we worked together to make it right. I mean, it was hard to do because it was a transition for him to go from the ER into his own medical practice. And it wasn't making money initially, but I was able to help. You know what I'm saying? And he was able to help by doing shifts or whatever. But y'all got to come on and transition out of that ER. You got to do it. You can't do that shit forever. You just can't. I don't care how much you like it. That ER is not made for a full career. You got to do something else. Something else that's um less stressful. But anyway, Toyota got thick though, ain't it? Dang it. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. She done got thick with it, honey. And um, she planning this party. This is going to be our finale. Next episode, she planning this party and she's spending 10 grand on it. Y'all just spending money. Listen, I, 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 I'm trying to say this as humbly. I, 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 y'all spending $25,000 on a party con Tessa, but at least you got some furniture. Toya, how you gonna jump out there? Just got a house and spent all your money on the down payment. She keeps saying she put four hundred thousand in. No, that was a down payment that you had to put down in order to get the loan. So you don't use all your money, and now the money you got, you gonna spend ten grand on a party before you even get some fucking fun. That's what I just. I'm saying, Contessa, twenty five grand, you could have got a nanny. Toya, ten thousand, you could have got a nice couch set for ten thousand. I don't know where you trying to go. I mean, but this stuff don't have to all cost a lot. My whole thing is in your house, you can get some pieces that are not that expensive. You can get some pieces that are expensive and be eclectic. Everything don't have to be expensive, Toy. That's one of the things you do. Like, the dresses you wear, they ugly, but they probably cost a whole lot. The same thing for your house. Everything don't have to cost a lot. It just don't. 
and it can be really pretty. I could show you. Well, you know, I ain't no, I, but I do like HGTV. I can't help you with no fashion or nothing. You know, I got a lot of shit, but you know, I got designers and shit and look. So anyway, but I'm just saying everything ain't got to talk cost a lot. I, I just don't. And you know, a man already tired. Y'all asses need to be saving. I'm sorry. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But y'all say I be on Toya, but damn Toya, come on, man. At least Contessa helping. I'm just saying. Okay. Where we at? Okay, then we go to Jackie's new office, okay? Jackie just doing her damn thing. She using this this damn um, reality TV just like Candy and the rest that are using this to open up new businesses. Hell, I need to join them. Um, Jackie just bought a whole freaking new building, okay? On oh, y'all asses while y'all playing, talking about she done, well, and then, um, she got this, and it's beautiful. Not only does she own the practice, which I need to do, she owns the building, the real estate. That's what, you know, I've owned real estate, and actually I sold it with my practices, but ain't nothing like some good old-fashioned real estate. Dr. Jackie got it going on, baby. And she really not concerned with y'all hoes. You know what they say? I'm rubbing off on Jackie. They say she get a little bit more messy. And then I guess I'm getting a little bit more busy because I've been doing so much smiles. I got to help me. I just announced that heaven help us. Uh, uh, wait up for the free dental makeup. I want to take care of everybody. I'm doing Dr. Heavenly University. We opened it a weight loss clinic, girl. I'm oh, I'm just taking off for um Dr. Jackie. Come on now, slow down, girl. Even though my kids damn near grown, but um, slow down, girl. But um, Jackie loves what she does. I love what I do, too. And it's always good to see Jackie in a good place. You know what I mean? That's my girl, and I really just love Dr. Jackie. And the whole thing with y'all, and I got to say this, y'all gonna get mad at Dr. Jackie for one statement. When y'all have known this bitch for seven years, y'all know who she is. So I'm saying, how y'all gonna take one statement and make her all out of character and stuff? Yeah, she's shady. But Jackie is one of the most compassionate People, when you walk in her office, I remember, you know, when she just come, her presence just calms you, her voice. And I always say that she's the female version of Dr. Damon. Now, Dr. Damon is calmer, and Damon ain't messy, and Damon was, you know what I mean? But she, that's why I like her, because she probably the opposite shit for me. But she real calm, she slow to speak. If she don't like you, you gonna know it, but she ain't gonna harm you, okay? And I don't think she feel a fucking buffy. That's my thought, but you know, you go ahead on what you want, I know what I know. But anyway... Let's keep going. Um, let's see. Episode 14. Let's go head on. I got another piece of paper here. Okay. This thing, uh, Mariah broke her foot. She tripped over a towel in Cabos and broke her fucking toe. She had an ankle broke, her toe broke. I think her arm was broke one time. I just, I broke shit in the last seven years for a bitch to be either you just brittle as fuck or you just clumsy or some shit i ain't know what i ain't got nothing to do with it i ain't got nothing to do with it okay but stop breaking shit it's just looking like i ain't gonna say it y'all said i ain't seeing shit but listen so sit your ass down that's my my thing sit your ass down if you gonna keep breaking shit just sit your ass down okay okay all right so now we going to the spa with Buffy, okay? We go to Buffy house, uh, house, okay? Buffy house, and um, she um, she's not there when we get there, but Mariah brings Lake. Let me see how I feel about that. I think honestly, Mariah is a low down dirty bitch, and I've always said that. Um, I think she's bringing Lake to intimidate Quad, yes, because we know all the allegations that are out that have been out there for years. Now I don't know who put them out there here lately, because they said it was a blog that brought it out. I don't know, you know, all them hoes do blogs. I don't even know, but okay, we all know that they had accused Quad of sleeping with Lake's husband. Now she brought Lake. Now is her foot really broke? Cause she just used her. I don't know, but anyway, but um. But the thing about Lake, honestly, uh, Lake ain't for no drama, in my opinion. Now, she has said some fuck shit, like she did call Quad a hoe. But every time I see Lake, Lake is calm, she's reasonable. The times that I spoke to her before I stopped doing Mariah, she was always intelligent, well-spoken. I actually like Lake, honestly. And I don't think she the shits. I think that Mariah makes her do certain things. You know what I mean? Make her feel guilty or whatever. And she does and says, you know, she pushes her up to say stuff. But then Lake, the oldest one, she, she should know better. And they always talk about Lake was should have been a doctor and she was going to medical school. Bitch, what did you do? I don't know. But anyway, I ain't got nothing to do with it. Lake, 
if you gonna come, you got to expect people to say some shit about you. You just do. Anybody on the show, if you're on the show, people gonna say, oh, let me talk about it for a second. I get a text, and I ain't gonna talk about this bitch too long, but Buffy texts me, say, don't say nothing about her husband, okay? Y'all, what did I say about her husband? I don't even fucking remember. I said, ugh, his back. I don't like his back. But she the one brought attention to his back, saying he had the thick hair. So was that it? Oh, I brought up the part that she he approached my husband about not wearing scrubs to work. Damon cannot wear jeans and a t-shirt. That's just white privilege. If you upset about that, I don't know. And what else did I say about her husband? I can't think of what it is, but whatever it is, just like I said, if you're going to be on the show, you probably going to get talked about. I don't talk about nobody, husband, Buffy, but the husband didn't talk about. One of the husbands was gay. We don't know if that shit was ever true or not, but it's out there. You know what I'm saying? One of the husbands cheated. One of the husbands put his whole penis in another woman that we know for a fact. You know, Mariah's husband cheated. She put it out there, okay? Then one of the husbands, um, they said um, they ain't had no job. Um, one of the husbands, what else? They done said he lied. He cheated. They put it on Damon. He, they had receipts. They never sold any receipts. Um, Jill husband, you know what I'm saying? It was just a lot said. My whole thing is if you bitch, if you don't want your husband talk about on this show, which I really ain't talking about your man, you better run, bitch, because this ain't for you. One of them was gay, one of them, one of them damn cheat, ain't got no job, one of them damn, and the, one of them was a definition of a big ass bitch. So if you're scared of that, baby, let just run, bitch, get away from us with that shit, okay? And you ain't gotta worry about me no more. I ain't gonna talk about him and I ain't gonna talk about you, so you got it. Okay, so, um, because I don't want you to whip my ass, okay? Because I it's been a long time since I get my... You know, let's think about that. Honestly, I think the only person here that can whip my ass out of this group is Contessa. And that's my friend. That's what I do. I bring the people that can whip my ass be my friend. And I love Contessa. But, bitch, I, I, if you could whip my ass, bitch, you can't catch me. Catch me, bitch. You can't catch me. Anyway, I'm stop. Listen, stop. Okay. Moving forward. We drove a long freaking way to this damn spa, okay? Buffy set it up, whatever. And it was just this itty bitty house. We could have did this shit in my backyard. We could have did it in a, a home. I don't know what her backyard looked like. Oh, yeah, she got in the, We could have did this shit in her house. I don't know why we had to drive all the way out to a spa. I guess it's so we could get to Argon with Lake on the bus. I don't know. We drove about an hour to this spa and this itty bitty house. You know what? One thing I do like about Toya is... She love her ass, and to the point where she have her ass out. I got a nice ass. I'm going to put that out there, but I'm not going to put my ass out there on national TV. I just can't see me doing it. With the lumps and the bumps and shit, I, my ass honestly look better than Toya and Buffy's ass, and I'm older than them, supposedly, allegedly, because they say Buffy 41, but the bitch look 51. But anyway, um, but I just want to put my ass take a confident woman they got some asses on them and they put it at the I mean y'all do what y'all do go ahead Lizzo whatever you know what I'm saying black rights big girls rock I don't know but I ain't put my ass out there anyway but did y'all notice I did get to eat it Buffy shit I mean I'm eating my damn food okay that was my I'm not gonna be in no stuff I ain't gonna snap out on nobody because I'm gonna eat my food today that's what I've been lacking for the last other times that I snapped out I got I got to eat okay I just went into them women just cover their asses, okay? Just cover it up. Just, I don't want to see all of that, okay? It wasn't no men now. What the purpose was your ass being out? I don't know. Um, to me, uh, Mariah just drained my ass. She just do It's always something fucking wrong. Her back broke, her foot broke, her feelings hurt. Oh, I'm just going to lay down here and I'm going to push through. Bitch, what did you come for? That's what I'm talking about. Like, uh, she just so fucking draining to me. It just gets on my damn nerve. Mariah, keep your ignorant ass at home with your sister and trying to cause some problems with Quad and all that. Keep your shit home, okay? Just stay home if your foot broke. The hell you gonna hop your ass on out there and not even participate? Anyway, Toya need to relax, okay? Because she done had a long, hard day at work, I guess. She got to have four masseuses and everybody. Contestant went to work all day, got three kids and a man mad or whatever, but she ain't need no massage and... Uh, I think uh, Simone damn pushing the shit out of my back. But you know what? As I say, Toya, I kind of like Toya. Toya a freak. There ain't only a real freak know about some choke and stroke. Come on, Toya. Come on, girl. Choke and stroke, Toya. Come on now. You better do that. Girl, what you know about that? Anyway, they talk about uh, 
Lake, not Lake. I done told you I kind of like Lake. Where did she come for? Listen, like I told you, if a bitch had slept with my man, like I said, it wasn't his fault. But I promise you, if a bitch slept with my man, every time I see her, <laughs> what they call it? Oh. I'ma whip her ass, okay? I'ma whip her ass. I'm, I, 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 um, I'ma try to whip her ass every time I see her. You know what I'm saying? Oh, um, no, you can't sit by me and you done slept with my man. You can't. So to me, that shit just can't be true. Or if it's true, y'all some. And then the man, y'all, the man left you any damn way, okay? The man gone. What we talking about? Why you bring him? <sighs> the man left anyway, so he was gone, okay? Anyway, I ain't got nothing to do with it. I ain't got nothing to do with it. But anyway, you know what? This episode started out slow and shit, you know what I mean? But it ended up pretty good, and it kind of led us into the finale. The finale going to be a hot mess. But again, y'all, if y'all like these videos, you know I said I was going to stop doing it because it looked like everybody pissed with me. What I do to everybody? They say the girl over there said, don't talk about a husband and this bitch over here, man, and toy I what I do to people, all I did was sit here and tell the truth, and I have to say it again. This is entertainment purposes. It's just my point of view. Don't take too much of I say too seriously. But anyway, if you like these videos, share it with your friends, okay? I'm not going to be doing this shit forever. I ain't got enough followers, okay? I need some more followers if y'all want me to continue, okay? And how y'all do that is share it with your friends, like it, comment, and subscribe, okay? Subscribe and bell. I don't know what the hell the color of the bell is. It's been blue. It's been green. It's been gray. Hit the bell. So every time I come on, you can see it, okay? And that's it. This episode 14. We got one more episode before we go to the reunion. Now, I saw Buffy crying. Y'all don't ran that bitch off. But anyway, I'll see y'all later. Y'all have a good night.